Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever or wherever you are watching this, and welcome back to my channel! I am Jeremy, and thank you very much for checking out this video. Today, I am going down the old school anime side of things, and more specifically, I am checking out a recent remaster release from Discotech Media, a publisher based in the USA that I have spoken about before on this channel, when it comes to their release of the classic OVA series, Angel Cop. This more specifically being a brand new remastered Steelbook Blu-ray release. I am very excited to delve into this. VHS releases in the UK were how I got into anime, and Angel Cop was part of that, and it has been a long time since I have seen Angel Cop, so I am very excited to see how this release has turned out. Discotech Media announced their intention to release this during December 2021, and they readily acknowledge themselves that, yes, they have released Angel Cop on Blu-ray prior to this, but this is a remaster specifically from 35mm materials that they have been working from. So this is going to look something very special, and they've shown some previews themselves on their social media channels, and it is looking tremendous, I've got to say. So I'm very excited to be able to show you this Blu-ray steelbook. If you're not familiar with Angel Cop, a few background details for you. This was a six-part OVA series, meaning direct-to-video in essence, that was based off of a manga series. The first part of the OVA was released on VHS in 1989, but it was not actually completed, the project itself, until 1994, following quite a bit of a turbulent production cycle. I will note that there is actually details about the production of Angel Cop on the Blu-ray as part of one of the extras, one of the text features that's included on the Blu-ray. So do go and give that a read. But now with this brand new remaster and the fact as well, it is being released in 4.3 for the first time anywhere in this form. This is a very tantalizing prospect for old school anime fans. So you know what? Let's not waffle any longer. Let's get straight to it. Let's get inside. So let's dive into this. First of all, I'm going to show you around the outside of the packaging while the cellophane is still on. As you can see, here is the front of the steelbook for you. Give you a bit of a closer look at that. There we go. So now, if I flip round to the back, let's see what it has on here. As you can see, we've got the synopsis, got the episode names on there. Got a bunch of screenshots, and I believe that this is on the actual, like, O card as well. It's not actually on the steelbook itself. I've got the technical info there as well. Quick look at the, the spines, if you will, of the steelbook. And with this O card, this plastic O card, I should note as well, around it. Quick thought before I forget, this has got both English dub and Japanese audio viewing options, and there are also two subtitle tracks as well, depending on which translation you want to watch it with. Let's open this up. Right, let's get this cellophane peeled off. This is actually a bit more difficult than I was expecting. There we go. Right, so now that we've got the cellophane off, I'm going to give you a talk. Actually, you know what? Because I just mentioned it in passing, so let me just check something quickly. Out of interest, quickly slip this off. Okay, that was very, very smooth to do. Not, not much resistance at all, if you will. So here is what is actually on the O card itself. As you can see, like I mentioned, all of the info is actually on the plastic O card. Specifically, it's not on the Steelbook. So that is really nice to see. A really nice design choice, that. Now, before I look at the Steelbook itself, let's just give you a quick look at the plastic O card without the cellophane around it. So I'll just give you a bit of a closer look at this. There we go. That shines really well. It shows up just really well in general. Now we'll look at the spines. bit of extra plastic there. And then as you can see, this is how it will look now. Right, so now, let's do it the other way just to make sure. Yep, really, really nice as well. It's a little detail, but I like to make sure of these things. So here is the front of the steelbook. This art looks amazing. It's a very, very well-known key art, if you will, of Angel Cop, but it always just looks so damn good. And on a steelbook, this just looks tremendous. So now, here's a look at the spine with a bit more detail now that we've got all of that off. Nice and simple. I like it. Simple and effective. And just for reference as well, for those of you wanting to know how it'll look on your shelf when you've got it displayed, that's how it will look. Now the back, very, very clean cut. Got like the city skyline there. I really, really like it. 
quite minimalist and it works quite well. And given that you will more than likely have the plastic O card around it anyway, that works very well to make sure that all the info is displayed clearly. And here is the steelbook opened with all the outside. And now let's get to the inside. As you can see, we've got the disc here. We've got the Blu-ray disc and we've got some additional art there to give you a quick closer look at the disc itself. Some good choice of art there. I really like that. And now I'm going to take the disc out. Hopefully this will be quite smooth. Yeah, actually that was really smooth to do. That's really well done. Nice. I like that. Now as you can see here, we've got some proper badass looking art as well. That's a really cool piece of art actually. And then you've got the road in the background as well with the really cool lights. Yep, I really, really like this. Simple, effective, and to the point. The disco back in smoothly as well. So there we go. Very, very happy with that. Actually, you know what? Just to do a little comparison side by side here, if I can get it lined up correctly. Here is what the Steelbook and the Plastico card look like next to each other. Just a little comparison, as it were, so you can actually see how things differ. So now I mentioned about all the info on the back and sort of the minimalist back. This makes total sense, especially if you're going to have the plastic O card around the steelbook. This is why all that info works so well being printed on there. Really, really good design choice. I am very, very happy with this purchase. And then just slip that back on there as so. Again, very, very smooth. Not much resistance at all. Excellent job, Discotech. Really, really like that. So there you have it, everyone. This steelbook is looking really good. It stands out so well. And I've got to be honest with you right now, I'm being very upfront about this. I have watched all six episodes of the OVA on this Blu-ray. It looks incredible. I'm not just saying that for the sake of it. This genuinely looks so damn good. If you are an old school anime fan and you can play Region A Blu-rays, you need to have this in your collection. Also should be noted that in terms of extra features, there are some promo materials in there. There's a clean version of the of the actual theme, if you will, the ending theme to Angel Cop. Also some very interesting text articles as well. There is an interview with John Waskell, who was part of the actual dubbing process and the script writer, if you will, for the English language version. And then there is an article as well about the controversy surrounding Angel Cop, which if you know what it is, it's not good by any means what actually occurred and ultimately how the story was originally depicted. But nonetheless, it exists, it happened, and this goes into detail about that. And quite frankly, how ridiculous it is. It is quite the read and well worth going out of your way to check out. But this Steelbook Blu-ray release by Discotech Media, it is absolutely brilliant. I am so happy with this purchase. And I implore you, if you are able to play Region A Blu-rays, Go out of your way to get hold of this. It's a limited edition steelbook. The steelbook is so blooming nice as well. It is well worth your time and money, in my opinion, to go and get this. The remaster of this OVA, something I love when it comes to watching old school anime, is just the hand-drawn nature of it. There is just something wonderful about that time period. And the amount of detail that you can see in this remaster, it is I know I probably sound like a broken record. It is utterly incredible the level of detail that this remaster actually shows off. It is something to behold. And it really puts across that old school anime feel that I love so much. And I know many of you out there more than likely love as well. With that being said, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions about this release, please feel free to post in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them. And if you feel so inclined, please give the video a like. If you would like other videos on my channel, please go and check them out. And if you want to, you can hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back very soon with another video. So until then, take care and have a nice day.